Good morning, good morning everyone. We are back in, uh, in Lombardia again and this is Cinisello Balsamo. It's a city that I thought it was small but I reading about it it's not that small it's just that it's not known for the architectural or for other like, you know historical reasons. It's more known because there is the television study. I happened there just by chance because I was uh, visiting Monza and there were no uh, hotels available and I found uh, this very very nice hotel hostel and um, in Cinisello and I went there for spending the night and it was one of those amazing opportunities because the girl that was managing the, the hotel, uh, Rebecca, and she was passionate of the story and so she told me where to go to see and what to go to see and so instead of going to visit Monza actually I just went around in Cinisello Balsamo and uh, spent a lot of time chatting with Rebecca that's also true I Cinisello actually Cinisello Balsamo is the union of two different cities uh, Cinisello and Balsamo and it was uh, they were put together in 1928 but the origins are very ancient because uh, over 2000 years ago the Romans passed here and conquered this land uh, that was part of the Gallia and here in this place where this church uh, is built were the passing lines of the streets from um, the Romans you know that uh, Romans were building everything uh, starting from a uh, uh, sent two central streets and everything was parallel. So the central part of the city was where this church is built. And we can find in this area a lot of uh, rests of the, of the Roman period and of the 3rd, 4th century um, remains of tombs and other things. The church itself was built in the 7th century after the death of the Queen uh, Theodolinda and it was a way of uh, remembering the, this queen that in this area was very important and inside the, the church was built with remains because it's, it was a poor church so it was like made of stones and tombstones and you can see inside remains it was very incredible all around there is like these huge buildings very modern let's say like 50s, 60s uh, uh, buildings and uh, this small church in the middle with this small garden around and a small cemetery and it was just so strange to see the the, the difference between the two you know the two neighbors and uh, it was I sat there um, and I started painting and I that's at the end of that trip uh, the first part of the trip this was one of my favorite paintings because it gave me this um, atmosphere of peace, of quiet, of um, you know just something small but so beautiful. It was just like really seeing the beauty in between everything and I really feel this is something that I love about painting is that it allows you to, so to see beauty really everywhere because once you start noticing, you notice the uh, tones of the color that change and you notice uh, uh, how the light uh, shines on one stone or one tree or something and everything becomes beautiful and that's what I love about, uh, about art and about uh, sketching on, um, on location and the cool thing is that once you practice it you learn to do it anyway so now every time I go around I see beauty even if I don't have time to sketch but it's like living in a wonderful land because everything looks so nice so that was my experience for today I'm really glad that you are here with me to and allow me to share this I really hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to see you tomorrow so let's see where we go tomorrow enjoy and have a great day bye guys